You know what? I think we need a flashlight. I think that would be very good to have. Now that I now that I'm thinking a little bit. Why can't I type? Alright, that's cool. Love that for me. Love that for me. Now I need to remember the alphabet. Oh, my clicker is not working. Mouse, why are you like this? There we go. This is my first rodeo. Wait, I gotta... Nope, that's not... That's not right. There we go. Got a flashlight. Let me just... Uh... There we go. Alright, I got a flashlight. Uh... Kind of rotate this a bit. There we go. I got a flashlight. And let us pick up where we stopped in stasis. Uh, um, all right, let me know if the audio is too loud. It has been a minute. Um, head mounted flashlight, exactly. You know, the head, the head, I do have like three hard points, you know, one on each horn. Oh. Our dude just kind of flailing around. Um, that is a lot of blood. Um, so the whole reason we did surgery on ourselves is there's like a uh, trap, like a, a tracker thing. Like, it gives, like, health status and all this other things. Because this is, you know, a bit in the sci-fi far future. The problem is, is the people in this area reprogram the sentry bots to target that, um, security tracker and shoot anything that had it. Because whatever... Are you a pacifist? You don't like to get your hands dirty? Whatever zombie things that are going on here, we're basically skinning people and um, using their IFFs to get to new areas. Don't forget to check the Chinese blood. I mean, I checked them before. I'm not sure there's going to be anything new. Yeah, there's not going to be anything new. Um, trying to remember. That's not it. I could have sworn there was like a status or quest button. So there's our data tag. That's what was removed. We have an empty pistol. I think this is the way we need to go now. I think it's this door. the medical facilities. Um, hmm. Maybe I do need to check the room where I immediately woke up because one of the zombies uh, while we were like completely effed up from cutting ourselves open. Uh, we... Uh, saw, like, as a third person, one of the zombie things eating 
a body that we pushed out of the uh, surgery place. Fortunately, because we're zooted, uh, we're kind of slow moving for now. No, I guess we can't click on the body. Hmm. Maybe the PDA has some new information? Nope. Spoopy time. Hi, Kai! Welcome on by! Yeah! We just woke up. Uh, our character uh, did some self-surgery without anesthesia, and uh, now we're zooted out of our minds. I believe up is a dead end. Yeah, because we got all the stuff to start the surgery. Maybe the ele maybe we take the elevator. Maybe that'll let us down. Oh. Alright, alright, this is new. A biological quarantine has been initiated. Oh, great. Level 2. Kitchen knife and snowflake are off limits. Kitchen knife is off limits? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to make food? Level 3. Hydroponics is off limits. Um, no. Oh, I don't like this. Perfect. Where are you, John? What about the PDT? I can't track shit. Uh, hydroponics. Oh, what's left of hydroponics? Fucking trees, man. I'm not going anywhere. Listen, wait. Let me check the blueprints. Yes, hydroponics has a service elevator. If your shaft has a growth, uh, see a doctor. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got here in hydroponics? This is ridiculous. How did it grow this world in a few months? It's got that, uh, GMOs. Tricky. What? <laughs> These plants can naturally develop this fast. Kane developed the technology to accelerate plant growth. Oxygen is big business. Ah, the plot by big oxygen, I see. That door is locked. We do have a terminal over here. All right. From a Dr. Sebastian Gray. Finally, we have more room for the for the Linessi Hobby strain, which have been working on so hard. It's days like this that humanity truly proves why it crawled out of the ocean before any other. My section has been expanded. I have more staff, true, but they are drones and have little other function. Now we can expand the research potential of Project Kitchen Knife. See what else the plants can yield. The oxygen production rate is quite unlike anything my initial projections could have predicted. Last year it became the worst kept secret on the Glo Groom Lake. And all of a sudden I had more interns than I could comfortably employ. Their only function is to stumble around the place and ask troublesome questions that I have little time to answer. Only our world was more like that of insects. They have plenty of workers and drones, but none of the unwavering loyalty. Bees work and work, the faith in their queen unquestioning and constant. That kind of loyalty is beyond price. 
These interns of mine have their uses, I suppose. Well, we will always need volunteers willing to get close to the queen. Well, that's kind of ominous. Am I surrounded by incompetence? One of those imbecilic interns got too close to the queen and she showed him her affection. <laughs> Quite amusing, though not to him. This means that I must attend another accident debriefing with the board. Though, Dr. Milan does love to test me. Thanks to the recent inscription, Vashka Libros. Damn, three months already. Time sure flies. Forgot everyone on this ship is a huge jerk. Oh yeah, everyone's complete assholes. They're all just the worst. <laughs> the tail. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I kind of been thinking of getting most of my emotes making sure they face left just so they can combo with the tail. I think uh, I think that'd be pretty good. I think I only have a couple that are facing right that I would need to fix. Uh, Dr. Milan does love to test me. I see him go up on the hearing bench and he grins at me in that super... Oh, super... Super Shillus? Supilius? Look that he has perfected over the years. I suppose that I have him to thank for my current position. It was his recommendation to the board that made them hire me in the first place. Still, I believe he has come to enjoy these little power plays. Ah, oh, I see Dr. Milan's a uh, hockey player, you know? Um, kind of surprising. I didn't think they played hockey up here. He does still like to keep me under his heel. That, my dear doctor, is only a temporary situation. Once this project is complete, the chess games that we play so often will no longer be our only battleground. Regarding the project, some of the bug eggs failed to hatch properly. I suspect this is why the queen was more aggressive than usual. There are more than enough drones to continue the collection work. Their unique chemical properties are doing wonders for the plants, although I'm running short of interns prepared to work in close proximity to them since the last incident. The worker I appreciate the most is Akiza. I was astonished to discover that she is related to the legendary Dr. Tenshu from the eugenics wars. I did consider mentioning it to her, but I sense she is oddly ashamed to have him as her ancestor. If it wasn't for men like him, our profession would be a hollow shell of what it is now. Then again, if it wasn't for him, genetic research wouldn't have been put back by several generations, now would it? The ethical quandaries we face as men of science. I'm glad I caught you, it's been like forever. Ah. No problem. Whenever you can stop on by, it's always appreciated. I have been trying to get better about uploading my VODs of games, so eventually, uh, uh, the VOD channel will be much more comprehensive, but it's, uh... It still takes time, even with minimal cutting them down and just getting them to the, uh... Detail, I think, is... Good enough. Let's see, June 16th. The insects are restless. They rumble in their apiaries and are more aggressive than usual. A personal deduction is that the presence of the marine thugs aboard the ship are the cause. Armed guards all over the place. I was stopped by one the other day and asked me my reasons for going into hydroponics. Well, after explaining I was head of the damn project, I had the guard removed from his post, and then the ship. This is insanity. How am I supposed to ex expect it to progress with these thugs around? I recall complaining about the inundation of interns. Only they were still here and now. Both Ivan and Theodore disappeared from their rooms last night, and I've had to speak to security about their whereabouts. They were Akiza's assistants, and now the production of the Queen's Royal Jelly has slowed exponentially. There's been a huge blow, but rather than an extraordinarily anomaly has appeared in our growth pods. A hitherto undiscovered strain of fungus. Its origin is something of a mystery to me. These fungal growths fascinate. At first, I thought it was a common garden variety mold, but after a substantial analysis performed by Giza, it seems to harbor neuron activity. That is to say, it seems to exhibit rudimentary signs of intelligence. 
We certainly created some unusual species on this deck, but the idea of a quasi-intelligent fungus growing and evolving of its own volition is exciting and, uh, frankly, frightening. I've asked Akiza and the remnants of her team to cultivate it, but exhibit caution in where it is spread. I was asked by one of Dr. Milan's assistants if the fungal substance discovered growing in the bowels of the ship had anything to do with us. I lied, of course, but this is becoming alarming. Our experiments flourished at first. We may have lost more staff recently, but our experiments have been very fruitful indeed. Confidentially, the properties of the fungus is both extraordinary and terrifying. It has a remarkable ability to take control of a living subject's central nervous system and the hypothalamus, as observed in the monkey we used for testing. The monkey shrieked and thrashed and raged for the first few days after it was exposed, and then it became quiet, observant, and uncannily intelligent. It's certainly aggressive, but then again, which virus aren't? Ah yes, let the fungi become sentient and murder people. Yes, yeah, exactly. So what I'm thinking is, so like we have a problem where there was the cloning vats that they started laxing on the quality controls and being more experimental for what they were putting into it. We have this fungus that started uh, spreading. One of the other hydroponics people tried to create a super mushroom to fight the fungus and that just made it evolve. And I believe a sample of this super fungus tainted the nutrient mixture that was going into the clones, which then is resulting in like a super intelligent um, clone. And like, obviously like just this whole thing is a feedback cycle, making the whole thing worse and worse and worse. It's really not a question of what exactly the problem is. It's more like, pick which thing uh, you want to follow because all of them are awful individually and they all just kind of mix together. Just burn it and start over. See, the problem with that is we're on a space ship. So, yeah, this is like a, this is like a black site human experiment spaceship. So there's not a lot of oversight. There's not a lot of expectation of a rescue ship. It's just fantastic. It's just great. No, no, no. We've officially lost control of the deck. Eden now truly belongs to the beasts. We've seen strange things. I, I watched as the fungus took control of the deck as it spreads to the staff, and much to my shame, I watched their deaths and examined their bodies. Nobody can cross the pods because the bugs are so aggressive that when Solomon went through in a rad suit, they ripped it from his body and stung him to death. It took mere moments. Still, I live in hope that the insects will remember me, their creator perhaps see me as one of their own. Ah, yes, insects. Notably having uh, a king, you know. Uh, they're very big on monarchism, insects. Illegal space science? Yeah! Nothing like a little bit of illegal space science. Um... All right, so that's just Akiza being like, hey, dude, uh, I know my grandfather was basically Dr. Mengel from the, in the eugenics wars, but like, please stop saying that's a good thing. I don't want anything to do with them. This ship ever manages to dock anywhere. I think it's over for whatever arrives to. Yeah, thankfully we're currently, I want to say we're actually floating near um, Neptune. So we're not like at a huge risk of destroying Earth, maybe? Um, right, so nothing in there. Um, vaporizer pad. An evaluation platform for specimens and samples to be inserted into the glass chambers. 
Ah, I see the vaporizer can no longer vaporize. Vaporizer chamber compromised. Chamber is not airtight. I see. The vaporizer. The perfected Mark V model of the Kane Corporation Trans-State Modifier. Using advanced and unique molecularization technology, the vaporizer has the ability to shift a targeted substance between gas, liquid, and solid states, without any of the structural breakdown seen in objects shifted between states on a regular basis. The Mark V is the latest model, but it hasn't yet been rolled into mass production because of the current difficulty fueling the vaporizer with resources on board of the Groom Lake. Recent experiments undertaken were more than satisfactory, and it passed the cane's safety and security test with no adverse effects causing harm to the user observed. It has been graded level 4 because of the specific nature of its technology and the limited quantity of existing vaporizers. During an experiment recently carried out on the royal jelly produced by hydroponics, Dr. Gray and other observers commented on the remarkable speed at which the jelly was transformed into gas, thus placating their insect population. Aw, oh, thank you for the boots, Fashka. Welcome on by! Will something learns to pilot the ship? Ooh, that would be pretty bad. Now, they may be getting intelligent, but I don't know if uh, leaping into piloting spaceship intelligence. All right. So, I feel like we're probably going to use the vaporizer. Maybe have to plug the hole and then um, activate it. All right, let's check this laboratory. Um, it's some sort of insect. Keep your distance. It's tied up. Doesn't look like it can get loose. I think we found the queen. How big is it? Um, that's not an insect I've ever heard of. Aww. It's difficult to grasp the size and form of this insect creature. Utter like protuberances sprout from its bulbous abdomen, while its pincers stab the air. Aww. Let's see if we can give the queen a boop. <laughs> um, it looks like the queen was hungry. <laughs> what, no achievement for that one? Come on, game. <laughs> Come on, if you're hungry, it's hungry. Are you fucking kidding me? Oops. What? Uh, I think it's, I bugged the game. Uh, it's some sort of insect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. A little knobby mo. Doesn't look like it can get loose. Tied up. How big is it? Big. All right. Milk processor. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Ooh, Akiza. All right, so let's see. Let's see things from Akiza's perspective. Oh, praise God Almighty! I couldn't be happier. Dr. Gray took me to one side and told me I was the only person who had the skill and ability to take control of the nursery. He promoted me on the spot and said that I was now personally responsible for the queen. The royal jelly that she produces has proved to be incredibly useful. I discovered through my own analysis that not only is the jelly an essential nutrient for the insect population, but it has other amazing physical properties too. It accelerates molecular bonding in certain substances, acting as a thickener for many natural substances, and also regenerating their natural properties. With some engineering, I imagine we could turn this into a true medical breakthrough. I imagine doctors and hospital wards on Earth using our bonding agent to heal wounds instantly. Perhaps finally the Ten Shu name can be revered in medical history instead of reviled. 
queen is a temperamental little thing, a fiery lady to be sure. But Queenie, you forget. I grew up in a family with more than one fire-breathing dragon. If I can handle my mother, I can certainly handle you. Ha! Although, when she is built, she's rather docile. I dare say, she's rather attached to me. I'm sure I heard her purring at me. That's the only way I can describe it. I'm aware, aware she's a bug and all, but it sounded rather like approval. My parents kept hives of beads, so I've never been squeamish over insects, and I could tell the difference between aggression and favor. I'm still the only person who can get close without being bitten, and her bite can leave a hell of a mark, let me tell you what. Hodgkin says he'll report his side effects upon his return from sick leave. In other news, Dr. Myrick, one of Dr. Gray's subordinates, has requested samples of the jelly for experiments with this tree resin. He thinks it might have a use as an industrial adhesive. This is a little in the way from my original invention, but I do suppose it is a start. I try so hard to be positive, to be the person whose enthusiasm never once flags nor fails. But when you start hearing rumors that appall you to your very core, I tried to shug it off, but recently it's become harder to deny it. I've been hearing sounds from the elevator shafts, the sounds of a wailing infant crying out in pain before suddenly being silenced. That is no rumor. Sometimes I, I lay awake at night and I swear I can hear the crying of children. I can't be dreaming. I saw it in Garcia to confess my fears. He gave me a prescription to help me sleep, but something in his eyes says he knew I was hearing something real, and worse. It was something that he was hearing, too. More rumors. Dr. Milan is using children in his research. I have to ignore it. If it were true, Kane would remove him immediately. Surely. Even Dr. Gray appears to find it an uncomfortable subject for discussion. And this is a man who slept easily when Isaac got his left cheek torn off by the Queen. Uh, yeah, Dr. Milan is definitely using human children in his experiments, and he is losing zero sleep over it. Is Dr. Gray short of staff again? Once again, I'm being forced to manage multiple projects, only this time is an examination of an acutely destructive new spore that seems to have affected some of the new pods. First observations? It's a parasitic fungus that grows faster than a common weed. And like a common weed, I feel like it should be destroyed. But I know that Dr. Gray won't do it. He, like many of the other senior doctors, sees any new species as something to be exploited or weaponized. In the darkness, something stirs. I can't say what. I'm too afraid to find out what it is. When Ivan and Theo disappeared a month back, we assumed that they'd somehow deserted. That it was the official stance taken by Dr. Milan and the board, anyway. Last night's events proved that there is something on board with us, so God knows where it came from. The Queen was more rambunctious than I'd ever seen her before, and milking her was certainly more challenging than I'm used to. Edmund was assisting. We've been short on staff, and some of our volunteers are simply refusing to show for work. The Queen's environment has been disturbed a great deal, and so her violent tendencies are more pronounced. Edmund was on his way out of hydroponics when it happened. A thing, something, pulled him into one of her air ducts. I didn't see much. I saw him walking towards the decontamination chamber, and then the next moment, his legs were kicking in the air as, whatever it was, dragged him up and into the ceiling, while he squealed like a pig. I'm resigning tomorrow. I did not sign up for mad science. I came to Kane to serve humanity and clear my family name, not watch my crewmates be slaughtered as species that Dr. Milan refuses to confirm or deny. If only I'd resigned when I said I would, and if only they had ignored my demands to have the infernal fungus destroyed. It's growing over me now, over my skin, burrowing into my flesh. The insects attacked again today, and it seems to only worsen. Dr. Gray was destroyed by a swarm of them. Now he is only fertilizer for that ever ravenous mold he was so curious about. The uninfected are making an, escape, an attempt to escape. This doesn't include me. 
The emergency flares keep the bugs away. I told them to give me the flare to hold back the bugs so they could get away. I hope they escape soon. The fungus is making my head feel funny. I'm sure I can feel it growing through my ear canal. Oof. Hmm. Not seeing out anything else immediately in this lab. We got one more to check. 